Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's his Super Mario 64. I am trying this out, so hopefully this will be a successful uh, series here. I'm going to do some emulation games. Right now we're using Project 64 version 1.6, which is one of the best N64 emulators. Probably the best N64 emulator I've ever tried. So let's get started. All right, and we're opening this whole new level. And there's Mario right there. All right, Kachow, you've reached the uh, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe using the controller. There's a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller uh, to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. Now I have an Xbox 360 controller. PC. The thumbstick is on the left. All right, now yeah, let's get some running around going here. Get some cameras. Let's read this sign. Why not? Princess told Stills Castle is just ahead. There's A to jump, Z to crouch, B to punch. Read a sign or grab something. Press B again to throw something if you're holding. I'm not holding. I'm not like that. There you go. Just have a little fun in the tree. Alright. Now we're gonna go inside. Good afternoon. The Lakitu brothers. Are there some Lakitu brothers here? Reporting live from just outside the, ca uh, the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and we will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursuits and missing power stars. As seasoned cameraman, we will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons, or in my case, the right joystick. If we can't, or if we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and press C up, which is left th or right thumbstick up. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button, or in my case, the right trigger. Uh, signs along the way uh, or along the way will review these instructions. For now, recording live. This has been the Licky Two Brothers. Alright, so pretty simple enough. Alright, now from experience we know where the first levels are. Let's just give us some coinage to start. If you've never played with this before, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. This requires one star. We don't have any stars yet, so the numbered stars on the door means it requires that many stars to get on there. And the big doors require, I think, eight. If I'm not mistaken. Well, let's find out for sure.
Yeah, eight stars. That's all. All right. And he slid down the railing. Nice. Then let's put the bomb on the picture. Jump right in. Wow, you're smack dab in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting world. Or, sorry, inside the painting worlds. First talk to the bomb on, buddy. Best me to talk. He'll certainly help you out. As well as comrades in other areas. Read signs. Stop. Face them. Press B. With A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. Alright, let's start with this guy. Watch out if you wander around here. You're liable to get plastered by a water bomb. These enemy bomb uh, these enemy bomb arms love to fight. They're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since Big Bomb Arm got his paws on the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the Big Bomb Arm. Please come back to see me after you've retrieved the power star. Alright. Sounds simple enough, so let's go. No, this isn't about getting enough coins or killing enemies. This is about getting the star. So. I shouldn't have done that. Let's go back up. Now I know there's a shortcut up here. Let's get a running start. There we go. This is a shortcut I discovered early on when I, while I was playing it back in the day. Oh, that was close. Of course, that restores full life. And it's a big bomb on. Let's just get into the battle. Well, pretty much a boss battle right to start. There we go. The object is to throw them, but keep them up onto the top platform here. You gotta pick them up from behind. There's the second one. Oh. Then he tries to throw me off. Which is absolute crap. But whatever. Well, let's go up the traditional way.
That didn't work. Nope. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try this again. You tell I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played in a while. Yeah, we've already read that, so let's just get going. Of course, there's other things you can do in here as well. All right, let's get that shortcut going. <clears throat> All right. We've got Super Mario 64. This time, it's personal. All right, now let's go up to this guy. This is way too much to read right now. No, no, this isn't good. There's number two. No, 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 no. There he is. Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the palm on king? You might be fast enough on the ground or to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops can learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. And there we go. Level 1 complete. All right. Save and continue. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the selected doors in the castle. Or sealed doors, sorry. Try the princess's room on the second floor. The room on the painting. Uh, or sorry, and the room with the painting of Wants Forest on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power. But you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep reaching for the stars. E. Let's do this again. Alright. 
For this one, I'm not going to do the Koopa the Quick race, because there is another thing that I like to try and do. Quite difficult, but I like to get it out of the way. And that's what makes it difficult. Okay. Let's try this again. All right, now go get some coins, and then we'll come back. Maybe this way has some coins. There we go. That works. We don't need the coins now. Alright, let's go back to where we were. You know what, let's just do the race. All right, now race is on. First one to get to the top wins. Ooh, he's gaining on us. He is definitely gaining on us. I don't know how the hell he got to be that fast, but. Here we go. We win. And we just got away for the Koopa. And here he comes. If we weren't for that shortcut, we would have lost. Alright, let's go give him a, a, a chat. You really are fast. A human blur. Here you go, you won it at fair and square. There's a star that he pooped out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Super Mario sixty four. Now we are definitely going to continue this series. Have to master three important techniques. First try the triple jump. Run fast and jump three times. One, two, three. If you time the jump is right, you'll hop, skip, then jump really high.
Max go for the distance with a long jump. Run. Let's that to crouch. And then A. Go jump really far. To do the wall kick, press A to jump to the wall and then jump again when you hit the wall. Got that triple jump, long jump, wall kick. Practice, practice, practice. You don't stand a chance without them. Alright, let's try this. Right, let's try the wall kick. Ah, there we go. There's a wall kick. Okay. Now we are going to go back to the castle, replenish our coins. And we are going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, if you are interested in a copy of my ebook, Tales of the or Tales from the Enchanted Forest, please let me know by putting stars around your message, around your comment, and please follow me on Twitter at a13 ent. And again, if you'd like to buy my ebook, uh, direct message me, and I will be I will respond promptly. Thank you for watching, and you enjoy the rest of your day.